why those must have happened. Every time we find ourselves in chaos, we question why. We feel dejected. We shout out why I am no different. Except for that day. Madam Kandusche, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests. That day was 25th August 2007. Well, I was savoring my birthday here, and I was waiting for my mom to take her to the temple. Two days from then was Rakhi, and I was checking my account balance, which was ready to be freezed. Wrapping up the temple, we headed out to our grandparents' house, where I get to collect those signed gift certificates for just a box of key. Great deal. Suddenly, in typical Bollywood style, the phone rings. My mom walks to pick up the phone and she crashes into the chair. My uncle, who was on the other side, said, my first cousin, who left for Koti to purchase my GRE books, hasn't returned. Their phone was unreachable. Next, there was this news of bomb blasts at Lumini Park and Gopal Chak with heavy casualties. My mom switched on the TV and what we saw on the screen made us all stand like this. We saw the footage of my mom's sister, her husband and a lot many others running around in the Usmania General Hospital rummaging to the lifeless bodies. I just realized I received a very unconventional but very gift. My dad immediately drove to the hospital hoping and praying for just one thing. Serendipity. The seduction of safety is a lot more tranquilizing than the perception of uncertainty. No sooner when he saw my uncle, my aunt, and my other cousin, who was one of the blast survivors, he realized he lost the, lost the toss with fate. My cousin, a beautiful girl, all of 20 years, couldn't make it. Finishing the GRE shopping, my cousins, landed at Gokul Chat on that fateful evening. They gave their chat order and moved away from the crowd. The victim, who was the oldest and the bossiest of the pack, stayed back to collect the order. As she was slowly inching towards others, little did this 20-year-old realize that she just crossed the early center. The bomb just exploded with such an intensity that she died on the spot with a brain hemorrhage. Had it not been for an auto which stood between her and the blast and which bore the brunt, we could not have collected her in one piece. While we were shifting her home, I was looking at the somber thoughts, faces of the people around me. Why? Why? For the media and the politicians, we just had one answer. Please, spare us from the spotlight. It's been six years this, since this incident has happened. However, Night after night of endless nightmares and sleepless dreams took my family close to two years to come to terms with this reality. We finally realized over time that there is no answer to this why. However, there is 
is a how to help the people who bore the suffering and pain. So out of this frustration and avedana came Samvedana. Samvedana was an NGO platform which was used for helping needy NGOs connect with the volunteers and supporters and donors. The bike finally found an answer in the hub and was finally put to rest. I learned that the adversities and the low keynotes that we hit in our daily lives and how we handle them help us to build our character. This process of loss and recovery had transformed me into a better human being. From being a very flirty, careless and a self-centric person, I transformed into a more caring, mature and a bold person. I started treasuring, treasuring my values, my relationships and my bonds. I became more human. In conclusion, I would like to urge all of you to value your relationships, count your blessings and seek service. If you set yourself financial goals and career goals, set yourself relationship and society goals and make sure you take a bullet for it.